Okay, in terms of physical security, um, as, well, as with a lot of things, uh, we have to broaden our scope. Um, we have to make sure that we are covering all the, uh, the threats, uh, risks, and, uh, uh, vulnerabilities um, in terms of the physical threats um, there is the natural environment uh, and and a lot of these things we're uh, going to look at again in terms of business continuity planning so um, you know uh, there there are issues of uh, natural disasters um, the you know earthquakes Hurricanes, tornadoes, uh, landslides, floods, you know, you name it there. Um, and and then there's man-made. There, you know, are, there are thieves, there are terrorists, there are uh, war situations, there are, you know, all kinds of things. Um, uh, riots. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, You've you've got to do it, and then and then there are uh, um, well politically motivated events. Uh, events uh, you've got uh, again the protests uh, all the way up to terrorists, um, and uh, again that can lead to riots. So we've got um, a variety of different situations that we may have to address. Again, considering uh, what type of business you are in. And uh, you know what type of threats you you face by what type of actors. Um, the uh, I well yeah again um, to to narrow it down uh, here um, we will um, in in terms of. Uh, the exam. Um, it's a, a standing joke that um, if you see a question that says, <coughs> sorry, with an answer of uh, confidentiality, uh, integrity, and availability, that that is the right answer. And, you know, whether or not that's uh, actually true. Um, is open to question, but um, in in terms of physical security, if uh, you see a question related to this kind of area, and the one of the answers is save somebody's life, that is the correct answer. Um, life safety is uh, for the purposes of the exam uh, always going to be the priority. Now, this is not uh, this is not always true for uh, given situations. Um, the you know uh, military, for example, has uh, is occasionally different priorities, um, but. Uh, again, for the purposes of the exam, we're taking the general case, and the general case is life safety is the most important thing. So uh, that leads to when you are protecting assets, you know, what are you protecting in regard to physical security? Uh, and one of the, the assets that you are protecting is the people. Uh, again, you know, you can replace computers. It's not as easy to replace people. Um, so, you know, remember that, that uh, safety of personnel is uh, part of the job of, of physical security. Um, so, uh, you've also got the facilities and infrastructure um, around your information systems. Um, and uh, in some situations, you, uh, you know, with high-tech startups, um, uh, the idea of protecting uh, information security 
uh, may come along before the idea of physical security. So you may be it in terms of physical security. You may be responsible for ensuring the safety of all the facilities. Um, so uh, ensure that. Um, the uh, physical safety of data and particularly media, because the media itself is, is physical, it's storing the information, the data that you want to protect. Um, the, uh, the equipment, of course, the, the actual computers, routers, um, and, and, you know, supporting infrastructure, uh, cables, cabling closets, uh, you know, those types of things. Um, you know, that's, that's, uh, it, it, people may see it as related to facilities, that's okay. Uh, just make sure that you don't forget it. Um, you know, the, the physical security there. And the various support systems and supplies. So the, the physical protection of uh, power, the physical protection of, um, uh, say you have uh, water-based cooling, um, the, uh, well, uh, cooling systems in general, HVAC systems, refrigeration, all of those types of things um, have to be uh, protected uh, as appropriate. Uh, again, depends on your environment, depends on the, the threats uh, that you face. And the threats that you face, again, are uh, going to be determined by your facilities and environment um, are there adjacent hazards are you next to a river are you uh, next to a slope that may not be stable um, uh, what's the local crime situation uh, you know, there was uh, one company um, the information uh, IT department uh, was always complaining about lack of space and so finally these guys said okay we've got you a completely separate building you know you've got it's a large building uh you know go and set up there uh you got all the space you want and they went down and looked at it and came back and said do you really want to put your data center in a part of town that even the police do not go in you know without groups of them uh so you know what is the the crime situation and again, you know, we've mentioned natural disasters and and whether or not uh, there is the availability of external assistance for any of these things. So.